what's more grueling, 600 miles at Charlotte or 500 laps at the High Bank Bristol Motor Speedway? Hmm. Text the word CREW to 191 from your singular wireless phone or go to foxsports.com. Enter for a chance to drive away in your own singular number 31 and answer the question. Well, Darrell, you've won both places. Well, the difference is that all the cautions you have at Bristol, that kind of saves you from wearing out or being fatigued. Here, it's pretty hard, fast racing all night long. I'd, I'd say this joint's pretty tough. You know what? Scott Wimmer in the 22 car, remember, he got his lap back the hard way earlier. Now, they pulled a little strategy. They stayed out. But here's a guy that's running up in the top ten, something that we've not been able to say a lot this year, and he has stayed there since that last caution. Scott Wimmer in the Caterpillar 22 car. Dick has more. And Wimmer has just radioed his crew, Mike, and told them the car is the best it has been all night. The 22 car looking pretty stout right now. I think he might want to say the best it's been all year, Dick. Yeah, considering his best finish this year has been 16th back at Fontana, California. Second race of the year. Vickers out in front by six tenths of a second. Ryan Newman is second. Craig Biffle is third. Jeremy Mayfield fourth. Kevin Harvick fifth. There is three seconds from first to fifth as you watch from the Goodyear blimp. Reminding you to travel with peace of mind on Goodyear's new Assurance tires. In fact, the first dozen or so are pretty well spread out around the racetrack. The track has taken on kind of a green flag look to it. Best battle on the track, Jamie McMurray and Jimmy Johnson coming past the start-finish line now. Now that is for 12th place. Johnson, as you ride with him in the Lowe's Chevrolet, he keeps having a look, but he's not able to pull alongside Jamie. that has definitely made some adjustments and they've got that car a lot better. Chris Andrews, the crew chief, Bill Elliott in the 91 car, he's, he qualified back in 27th. He went a lap down very early, but right now he's in the fourth position on the racetrack a lap down. He'd love to see a caution right now as he runs out in front of his teammate, Jeremy Mayfield, in the 19th. They definitely have made this 19 car a whole lot better too as well. Slugger Lavy, the crew chief. Big race for 12 Clear points. high. Clear high. Clearing Jimmy Johnson as Mark Martin moves through. Good job, Jimmy. Between them, those two drivers have won the last three Coke 600s. And Jeff Gordon comes up to battle with them. I think Gordon has finally gotten himself kind of out of all that traffic back there. Working on the 101 now, he's working on uh, Mark Martin next. And uh, his car seems to be working pretty good like that. You know, we've been talking about comers and goers. We've been talking about cars that run good out front, but struggle in traffic. Travis Quaffle, he was leading this race not that long ago. Now he's back in the 25th position, and he continues to lose spots. So that car is not very good in traffic right now. Seems to be the kind of the way all these cars are. Rusty Wallace into the top five with that pass of Kevin Harvick. Twenty-one year old Brian Vickers, native of Thomasville, North Carolina, out in front of Ryan Newman at 187 laps. 